Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and one of the things that I do on a regular basis, I hire it out, but I do it myself too, is edit videos, and let me tell you a little something. Editing videos is extremely time-consuming if you don't do it on a regular basis. Uh, I know that I, I have a lot of people, a lot of friends who are professional video editors, and I'm sure they have a lot of shortcuts and macros and things like that. I am not familiar enough with any tools, maybe ScreenFlow, uh, to set up those, those things that would make my life easier. But luckily, there is one app that makes editing a lot easier, and it's called ReCut. ReCut recently just launched a second version, so we're on ReCut version 2. And they've added a lot of really, they, the developer, the single developer, Dave, has added a lot of really great features to it that I'm excited. So uh, that I'm excited about. So I am going to show you, I'm going to, in this video, quickly edit a video I just shot with ReCut. Now, before we get into that, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel. I do live streams weekly, so, you know, you'll get the... Uh, You'll see when I'm live. That's every Wednesday. And, uh, you know, subscribe and, and see all of the fun videos I put out. Now, with those live streams, and if you really like my content, you can support it directly by going to buildsomething.club for just five bucks a month. You can get access to the live stream archive and ad free extended episodes of my podcast and lots of other stuff. So if you do, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support this channel directly, head over to buildsomething.club or subscribe, right? I would love a subscription uh, and you can then see the other content I'm putting out. So that's that. Okay, let's get into the video. So, okay, so you can see a pretty blank screen here. The only thing is the finder window that is uh, housing all of my Ecamm Live recordings. And I, re I record all of my videos with Ecamm, li Ecamm Live and then edit them later. So I'm going to open ReCut here. And I'm going to drag this video that I just shot right onto it. I will hide my face so you can see the whole thing. So you can see a few things here. First of all, there are some default settings for uh, threshold so anything below a certain decibel level will be considered silent. The minimum duration of the silence that I want to cut. The padding, so leaving spaces between cuts. We'll leave a, like uh, half a second maybe of padding, maybe even less than that. Uh, maybe 0.35 seconds of padding, right? Uh, and then we can also remove blips. So again, any blips you know, just little short audio sounds below a certain amount of seconds uh, will also be edited out. So you could see the preview of the timeline here, but there are some other things that I'm going to want to edit out. So let me zoom in on the timeline here. And we could see like right here, like what's this blip? I can click. Okay, so that's fine. We can leave that in there. So maybe we even want to remove this cut so that it's not such a jarring jump. So it activates and then we get redirected. On the flip side, we've got, you can see there's a clap here, right? That's what this little line is. So let me look at this. So that, that was a mess up. So I can click that clip and press the delete button. And now that will also be removed. All right. So, and I probably want to extend this a little bit. So let me lengthen the blip. And probably, I probably need to do the threshold too, but let me just... Now, one of the drawbacks here, and maybe this is coming in a, in a future release, is I can't actually remove, I can't move these boxes at all, right? So 
uh, if I want that clap removed, I'm going to have to either reduce the padding, play with the, uh, the minimums a little bit, and maybe even the threshold. So if I increase the threshold, and we want to make sure that we don't increase it, like you could see the threshold's not even going to matter though because this is this is a long clap so uh maybe blip but even then so it's it's it does a lot of the work for us and i can certainly cut out certain bits like maybe i just want to cut out this whole thing yeah so maybe i can just remove that and then so actually I probably just want to get rid of this whole section um, because I kind of go on a tangent there that I don't really care for. So with all of that, uh, we could see that I'm cutting this eight minute video down to five minutes and 18 seconds with just seven cuts and we'll see how it ends all right so it it pauses there so now i can export this and i can send it along to my editor so i'll do the high quality re-encoding and I'll save it in a YouTube folder called WP Tool Belt so that I know what that means. And then again, we'll call this WP Tool Belt. And now it's doing the export, which I won't make you watch. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I strongly recommend you check out Recut. It's not going to do everything for you, but it will do a lot for you. So this is ready for me to send to my editor so he can clean it up and then add the end screen to it. So uh, if you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Click the thumbs up button down below to like this video. Once again, if you... Uh, do you like the content I put out? Check out the Build Something Club at buildsomething.club for just $5 a month. And until next time, get out there and build something.